family. How's everyone? This is Lisa. I hope you all are enjoying your day. Um, God want us to walk in the light, come out of the darkness. Um, I'm feeling a real heavy um, acceleration spirit that is around in the spirit and God is about to accelerate his people. Um, let's pray and uh, may you be blessed that God blesses you and keep you and sustain you throughout life trials of today. So let's go on oneness with the Lord for a moment. Merciful Father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we reverence you, Lord. We praise you. We welcome you in this place, Father. Let your anointing fall on us, Father. Rain down on us, Father. Cover us with your blood, Father. Block each and every entity, unclean spirit that's trying to hinder us, Father, in our minds and our lives. You are just God. You are holy God. We thank you, Lord. May your... Um, Grace, sustain us, Father, throughout all things, throughout our day, Lord. We trust and believe on you, God, most high. We reverence you, O oh God, coming to this place, Father, holy God. We thank the Lord. Yes, today I want to talk about celebration in the spirit that I'm feeling. I feel like God is going to move. He is about to do a new thing in his people. He's about to move some things around, shake, the, shake off the devil. From under your feet, the devil is under your feet, and he want us to walk in the light. Say, want you to walk in the light with a beautiful light, with dew drops of mercy shine bright, shine all around us by day and by night. Jesus, the light of the world, he is the light of the world. He shines all around us day and night. Um, Jesus has showed me, um, I've spoken of this before, um, about the horses, the white horses that were running around the circle really, really fast and was accelerating at high speed. I'm feeling like a, a revving of like a motorcycle getting ready to take off, you know, fast speed. So Jesus is uh, pretty much getting ready to accelerate his believers, those who have been obedient to him and um he, he honors that when you've been obedient to him no matter you praising him no matter you know through the mass through the storm you praising him he keeps you uh he why he looks at that jesus is about to move in churches you know um sometimes people says that uh churches are like the hospitals it has been told to me once before that the church was a hospital but this is not what the lord intends it to be the lord intends the church be a, a place of deliverance you know and um i'm gonna give you the meaning of hospital a hospital is an institution providing media and surgical treatment and nursing care for the sick or injured. So this is the joy in the light. So this is what the hospital is. An institution providing medical surgical treatment and nursing care for the sick or injured. Jesus has hospitals for hospitals. That's what they are for. But his churches are to uh, places of deliverance to be set free. Um, it's a group of our believers meeting to worship and praise the Lord. When people are delivered from demons, they commune with God. They praise God. They worship God. Um, you're cleansed. It's a holy place. Um, um, God is in a restoration business and he's about to clean house. Now, Jesus said in Matthew 16, 18, he said, and I say to, I say also unto thee that thou art Peter and upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now, Jesus, a rock, he built his church on the rock. Now, the rock is mineral materials. It's a dry, solid part of the earth's surface. So a rock is solid. See, Jesus built his church 
the believers, people that believe on him, is where he wants us to be, to have faith in him of a mustard seed, you know. And this is what the church is meant to be, a place of deliverance to be set free, you know, to cleanse you of evil, wickedness, is to make you whole, to be in oneness with him. In Ephesians 5, 20, 60, 27, it says, Paul declares that Jesus gave himself up for the church to make her holy, meaning the church, cleansing her with the washing of water by the word, the sword of the spirit, the word of God. He did this to present the church to himself in splendor. Church to himself without spot or wrinkle, he says, or anything like that, but holy and blameless. Church is holy and blameless. Our God has not failed in any of his endeavors, nor will he fail in this one. It was designed to be holy and blameless. This is God designed his church to be a holy place. With this goal, Christ gave himself up. He gave himself up for us. And with this goal, his workers are to carry out that work. Now, the, now the, the people, just like the disciples in the Bible, Jesus used them to carry out his work, to carry the word out, to pray over people, cast out demons. These is his workers, prophets, prophetesses. There is no reason to believe that we will not achieve this goal. We can affirm it that in the fruits of the church will be glorious. So we, we have... A lot of churches that are empty and people are leaving the churches. Okay. Um, part of this is because they're being ran like hospitals. It's still a deliverance center. See, because when you're in church, you should come out feeling a sense of closeness to the Lord, a sense of uh, that you want to reverence the Lord. You know, uh, um, pretty much like we are to fear not man, but the Lord. There should be a certain type of reverence in us, in our heart, that we want to be obedient to the, to the Lord and obedient to his word. And this is what we should feel, you know, in the body of Christ. You know, we should be uh, um, communing with the Lord. Um, communion. Communion is having um, the bread and the wine representing the blood and the body of Christ. See, the, the, these are representations, but the meaning behind it is so much more. You know, Jesus' blood is powerful. It saves us. It heals us. He forgives us. He saves us through his blood. His salvation, power, and glory, honor, dominion of power, and the blood of Jesus. You know, it's power. It, it, the blood works. You know, Jesus still lives. You know, and um, I had uh, uh, family members to come to me and you know, they tell me, they say, Lisa, I saw Jesus building, mending a fence. And he was mending a fence really fast, mending a fence for protection. Then another family member say, Lisa, Jesus is uh, um, showing me that I'm, I'm to clean the house out. I'm to cut the grass. Fence, house, grass church built on the rock solid jesus is coming through and he's going to rebuild his church because it's to be without spot or wrinkle it's to be blameless you know um you can better believe that the church is going to be restored he's coming to replace these churches with anointed people, people that are going to be delivering people, blessing people, 
praying over people, people's lives are going to be changing. People, addiction is going to be healed from, be delivered from people. Demons are going to be delivered from people. Praise and worship is going to be, he's going to be worshiped in reverence because he's holy God. Jesus is holy God. He's holy God. He calls us to be light around us, not darkness. He's calling us from the light. So the rock is a mineral material. It's built solid. He say, on this rock, mm, I build my church in the gates of hell shall not prevail. Because Jesus is the light of the world. And um, he's our rock, our sword, and our shield. He stands firm in his church. And he's going to restore it back to what he meant it to be. This has to take place in order for God to come back. You know, before Jesus come back, things are going to be accelerated. People are going to be opening up businesses. Um, glorify the Lord. Um, people that are considered as minorities are going to be opening up companies to glorify the Lord. Jesus showed me big boxes with clothing in it for the needy. They're going to be uh, buildings built uh, um, for the needy. It's going to be more help for people that are in need, you know, because um, the church is to focus on those who need. You know, we are to help the less fortunate and um, things like that. These people, people need things. You know, people can lose their jobs and they need, stand in need of clothing. They stand in need of um, provision and guidance and counseling and things of this nature. So Jesus is about to bring forth a new thing and new people and a lot of minority businesses going to be created. Uh, the people are going to become majority and um, you're going to look around and you're not going to know what happened. But this is going to be an act of the Lord because I'm really, really feeling like an acceleration is going to be around us because Jesus saying the what? He's saying to walk in the light. Beautiful light. With the dew drops of mercy shine bright. Shine all around us by day and by night. Jesus is the light of the world. He's meant the fences, cleaning houses, cutting grass. He's getting his church back together. He's in the restoration business. He's rehabilitating his church. He wanted back where spotless and blameless to be holy for worship, for praise. For reverence. Let the hospitals be hospitals. Let them be for the sick and injured. Operations and surgery. But let the church. Mm, let the church. Be for deliverance. To set people free. Call to salvation. To be in oneness with the Lord. To have closer relationships with the Lord. He's going to do it, everyone. Because he's God. All things work together for his glory. With the devil meant for evil. God meant it for his good. Churches are going to be back to what Jesus Christ meant them to be. Before his return, people are going to come to him in droves. This is what he set it out to build. When he built it on a rock, a rock is solid. All other ground is sinking sand. Jesus is the solid rock. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. It's a rock. It cannot come against the Lord. The devil can't come against the Lord. He is to deliver. 
his people. He is to bring people toward him. This drug addiction is going to be coming from people. Alcohol addiction. Fornication, adultery, sexual addiction. All these things that is abomination in this world, Jesus is going to bring it out as people. He pulled people from Egypt. Jews, Moses say, let my people go. Send out the disciples to cast these demons from people. This is what, what demons are doing. They puppet in his people. Jesus is going to be saying no more. You know, it's few is chosen. Many are called few are chosen, but mm, it's none but the righteous. Jesus is celebrating things in the spirit. I can feel it. You're going to look and, and see that the light is going to be shining brightly around you. He's going to fulfill those dark areas in your life with light. I know it. I can feel it. Don't go around speaking that you got bad luck. You know, it's a song. You've got bad luck is what you got. No. You have the favor of God over your life. You declare and you decree. I declare and decree the favor of God over my life. I'm a child of the most high God. If you don't know him, ask Jesus to come into your life. He will show you who he is. He will show you what he can do for you. He will show you things, things in the spirit, his plans he has for you. To keep you in perfect peace. To have your mind stayed on him. But he's about to do a new thing. He's about to rebuild his church. He's taking back his church. What the devil stole from you. Jesus is going to restore it back. He's going to do a new thing. I can feel it. I can feel it. It's in the air. So walk in the light. Beautiful light. With a dew drops of mercy shine bright. Shine all around us by day and by night. Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus is the light of the world, everybody. Walk in the light, beautiful light. With a dew drops of mercy shine bright. He said he's going to shine around you. Your darkness is going to be light. If you're faithful to him, he look at you. If you're faithful over a few things, he'll give you much. He look at what you do with little before he give you much. But Jesus is about to raise up his people. They're going to be doing great and mighty things for the Lord, for the body of Christ. So just ask Jesus. If you don't think he's real, ask him to show himself to you. Come into your heart. Jesus will do mighty and great things in your life. You know, this morning, a young man told me, he said, Lisa, I'm praying for you. He said, I don't normally pray, but I'm praying for you. That's God. You know, this young man made me feel so good. That's one of the best things anybody ever said to me, that they're praying for me and they don't even really pray. That's the Lord. You know, when, when your light is shining, people see it shine through you. You know, and I fall short of glory just like the others. I get upset just like everybody else. But I, I praise God anyhow. And that's what you would do. Praise him anyhow. He's got you. He's got your back. He's got you covered. You're going to be celebrating. this celebration in the spirit. People are going to be raised up. People are going to be owning their own businesses for the Lord, doing things for the needy, helping out people, praising God, reverencing God, believing on God. You can believe this is going to be. He's, he's coming back for his church, everyone. His church, blameless, spotless, and holy. He's looking for his church to be rebuilt, restored, because he's mighty God. That's who he is, the almighty, the El Shaddai, the everlasting. Shine all around us by day and by night. Jesus is the light of the world. So glory to his name. Yes. Down to my heart where my Savior died. He was crucified. Was the blood applied. Glory to his name. Commune and being oneness with God. Ask God to show you who he is. It's, I'm nothing without the Lord in my life. And I thank God that he saved me. And I, I just thank God that he blesses you. Um, if you don't know him, please get to know him. Jesus is, is the light of the world. He's light. 
He will shine all around you. Like this light in my window behind me, he's light. He will shine a light in you into your darkness. So praise God. Worship him. Magnify the Lord. Thank you, Father God. Praise you, Lord. Lord, thank you, Jesus. You in the healing business. You in the restoration business. You building your houses. You clean out your houses. You mend the fences, Lord. Brokenness, broken hearts, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We magnify you, God most high. Declare it and I decree it done in the name of Jesus. You all go have a, a blessed day and thank God for all things. Give God thanks. Praise. Praise him. Thank you, Lord. This is Lisa. Bye-bye. See you. Talk to you later.